Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am going to share my completed pages for um, September 2023, I had to think then. Um, it's been quite a busy month as it's been back to school and after six weeks of um, holidays you just sort of get out of the routine and it takes a while to get used to it again. So I... I only completed eight pages and really one of them is one of them is in here so that's really like half a page isn't it really rather than a full page but anyway I am going to share my pictures with you and I hope you enjoy the video if you do enjoy the video please hit the like button and if you haven't already done so subscribe as it really does help the channel out um, so this um, was one of the first ones I actually did, so I'm going to bring you in close and show you um, the page I did or the postcard. I'm really happy with how this came out and actually it's so fun colouring these little, um, she's got the Asian one as well and I think she, um, Rita's also going to um, um, bring out the um, new Africa ones which I will buy as well but these are really really nice and they're not really really tiny either so you know they're quite easy to colour so yeah I really enjoyed doing this one I did take my time with it so I've got various pencils on here um, I think I used my favourites like polychromos um, what else, what else, what else? luminance I think I used a lot of light fast um, might have used a bit of a Arteza expert as well, but there's gel pen on there. I don't think there's any metallic paint But yeah, I'm really pleased with how uh, Vivid it's come out. I think I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's some sort of gel pen I think it is a gel pen rather than metallic paint because I don't think I used any metallic paint I have got some Uniball I'll just Show you it actually this glitter gel pen, highly recommend it. It's the Uniball Signo Sparkling Silver. It's so stunningly glittery. Um, if you do buy, if you want something glittery, then this is a really good one. And it's really versatile because you can use it on pretty much all your pages because silver and gold can go with anything. So I've got a little bit of that on the raindrops, on the edges of the raindrops. I hope you can just see it shining there. Um, I did use fine liners as well. Um, I think fine liners really help bring out the pencil colouring as well and really sort of, um, I don't know, just just make your pictures pop a bit more um, when you use them with pencil. So I've also got some jelly roll glaze as well on these things at the top. But yeah, quite pleased with how that came out. Um, and yeah, I want to colour more in these postcards as well. So that's that one. And then a million little monsters. So bring you out slightly. There we go. Right, so a million little monsters by Lulu Mayo. And the one I did in here was this one. So um, I think I used... For the background, where is it? I think I've got it in here. I use these, whoops, Mica Magic. Um, what do I describe them as? Mica Magic Powders, I guess. Yeah, Mica Magic Powders. So I used these um, just with like an eyeshadow type um, um, applicator. And I used that for the background. So it does give it a little shimmer um which you know looks quite nice you can buy if, if you're right um I'll just take it out again sorry um if you write craft artist into google search and write winter jewel this should come up because i know a few stores in the uk do sell them online um if you're interested but yeah that's the sort of the I don't know if you can see the slight shimmer of that background, but that's what I did use. It was the Mica Magic. And then, of course, on the rest of the picture, it's Arteza Expert. 
um, pencils which work really well actually on the Lulu Mail paper. I do like using my Artis Expert. The Lightfast, um, the polys, they all work quite nice, although the Lightfast I think work better than the polys in my view. Um, the Luminance isn't, I don't, I don't like the Luminance that much on this paper, but I do like the Lightfast. But yeah, even the, I've got to say the Color, the Colors work really well on this paper. So anyway, I did put some metallic paint here at the bottom. I used my um, Jelly Roll Glaze for parts and then I used my um, gel pens from Karin, the, the, um, the bright ones for these sort of lollipops just because I thought they would go well, you know, the bright colours with them. So I put them there. And I used some, these are some paints um, from Etsy that I've also used on the lollipops just to make them a bit sparkly and then more um, glaze pen on these donuts, I think they are. But yeah, and metallic paint basically. So various metallic paints and there's some um, glaze pen again on the dragon's um, scales, I think. But yeah, that was fun to do. Um, I think it's come out alright, not too bad, but yeah, that's that one. And then I coloured in Nature's Magic um, by Stratton Peterson. So this one I purchased from um, The Works, which is a store in the UK, and it was £5. And I did this one. So I did say that in my colouring plans video, my colouring bag video in at the end of August, beginning of September, that I did want to colour in this book and this was probably the one that I'll do and it did take a while, I have to say. Um but I wanted to use I, I wanted to use sort of autumnal fall sort of colours, of course, for the leaves. And I was thinking of not doing the leaves on the tree in pencil, but then I thought I'll just do it in pencil and instead the um, acorns on the actual tree I did with some fine tech paint um, which yeah I like how it's come out um, and then I used some metallic paint for the rain and I think this is lightning but I'm not sure and this paint here is also the fine tech paint this beautiful sort of deep orange paint as well but yeah I quite like how it's come out it's very um, seasonal and very sort of fitting and appropriate for this time of the year because of, like I say I am seasonal colorist so quite enjoyed that one I mean the leaves could be a little bit better in terms of shading in places I could have spent more time on it but you know I was just a bit done after colouring, spending quite a long time on, on doing these so yeah I, was, I just wanted to call it done really so yeah nature's magic and then I had a buddy colour with the lovely um, Megan from Disney Meg Colours uh, and we did a page in here and I'm going to insert Megan's picture here So hopefully I did insert it. Um, I haven't seen it yet at the time of filming this video, um, but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. But we decided to do this one, which is The Land of Lost Socks. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed doing this. I think I did a, a short video on this background and how I did it. I think I did it with alcohol marker and then using the Posca pastels on top and then using zest it to blend it out a little bit. I quite like the look that it gives um, and I think I used the alcohol marker for the bottom bit as well and then used the Posca pastels for that and um, yeah I I quite like it. Um, I did use an acrylic um, pearl paint for this for this washing machine but it, it's more I don't know I think it's yeah I think it is a pearl rather than a silver, although on the screen it might look more silvery. 
um, but yeah quite enjoyed doing this one I have ordered the better quality paper version of this book because this is probably my favourite one out of all of RJ Hansen's um, I do really like the dragon one as well so I want to try the paper out I know it's not as it's, the paper is still not as thick as I'd like it because I think it's 105 GSM but it's going to be better than this and if I can use ink tents and water colour pencils then I believe it's worth buying so yeah so thank you Megan for doing another buddy colour with me and um, hopefully we can do um, some more in the coming months so yeah that's that one hope you can see all the shiny I've obviously used black uh, glaze Sakura glaze pen again because that pretty much makes an appearance on every on every page. And then another buddy colour with the lovely Leslie from Leslie Ladyhawk here on YouTube. So thank you, Leslie, for doing a buddy with me. And I'm going to hopefully insert her picture here. As um as with the other buddy colour, I'm not I haven't um, received the pictures yet at the time of filming this video, but um I'm sure her picture will be stunningly beautiful. Um mine is this and I quite like how it's come out. I think it is very vivid. I like how I've used it did take ages. I like how the backgrounds come out, the beautiful deep green. I like that I used pencil for the big mushrooms and then for the central for the central bit or the central mushrooms I used my um metallic paints and glitter paints so yeah quite pleased with how that's come out um I have used glaze pen again I've used fine liners and then I've also um I've used fine liners to add to details and sort of bring out the pencil a bit more and add definition in places. But yeah, I am really pleased with how vivid it looks. I, I think I've done a fairly good job there. I quite like this one. I'd say it's about 8 out of 10. So yeah, I know I just seem to love grading myself. But yeah, I really I like how that's come out. Take the tap out. So yeah, thank you again, Leslie, for um, buddying up with me. It was really fun doing this one. So Mythographic Dream Garden, and that was by Fabiana Atanasio. And then next we have Enchanted Earth. So I did do one in here because I actually not coloured a lot in this book compared to Circle of Life. Um, so I think I've, this is my third or fourth one. I don't know, probably the third one actually, I'm not sure. But, where is it? Yeah, I think it's my fourth one, actually. Again, it's this one. So this is like an autumn, fall one, definitely. So I used Distress Crayon on here. I did do a base of alcohol marker. Um, I quite like using a base of alcohol marker now. And then using watercolour on top, or pencil or whatever on top. Um, I quite like using watercolour on top but I, in this case I used alcohol marker base and for the background and then distress distress crayons. Um, it might have been also distress inks, I cannot remember. It might have been distress inks actually. Um, and yeah I quite like how it's come out. I think the little splodgy bits look um, quite nice and um, I'm, I sort of used the purples and the dark dark sort of pinks because I thought they'd go well with these in the background so sort of using the colours from here in the image in the background sort of ties everything together I guess um, but yeah I I think I used Arteza Expert again I really like those pencils they are some of my favourite pencils I may have also used the Castle Art gold pencils which I also quite like as mid-range pencils um, yeah that's it but yeah I quite like that let's bring it up to you and just give it a little bit of a 
showcase you can see I really like these silvery details that I put in and that's with my uni ball silver gel pen so yeah Enchanted Earth from Mel Pamini Chatsy Pani go to and then my second to last one is this one which is the Japanese bunny colouring book and I did a double page in here and that took absolutely ages but I worked on it a little bit every day until it was finished or most days until it was finished and it was one that I definitely wanted I knew that I wanted to do uh, in the summer I was planning to do this one in September and it's just so cute I have got pan pastel on the background which I haven't fixed and the reason I haven't fixed it is because I was worried that if I spray it well you've got some stuff that's come through here but I think that'll come off with an eraser um, I thought it might come through here so that's why I haven't and instead I've just put this paper over it which seems to do the job of not causing everything to smear um, but yeah on here I've put I've used Polychromos um, Luminance and Lightfast. Those are my three favourite pencils to use, particularly on these Japanese um, colouring books. Quite happy with how things have turned out. I've used some glitter paints and some um, other metallic paints as well. I've used um like the neon types of gel pens as well and yeah a little bit of glaze sakura not glaze sorry sakura oh yeah it's glaze isn't it sakura glaze pens um and a little bit of gel pen and fine liner here and there but look how cute the little witches are they're so cute um but yeah i really really did enjoy doing this page um I wanted, I didn't want a bright background because um, I wanted it to have more of an autumnal feel. So I used blues which weren't too bright and more of these muted blues. I mean, I haven't got a full set of pan pastels because it's so, so expensive. So I had to work with what I have. But yeah, I think that's worked in not making it too bright. So yeah, that's that one. That was definitely a big job, a big project, but definitely worth it in the end when the pages are done. So that's the bunny one. And then finally, I did lose my colouring mojo for a bit at the end of, um, well, in the last, in the middle of September, should I say. In the middle of September, I was just like so snowed on under with work and I just felt like, I felt like um, I just wasn't, that interested in colouring I don't know why but I wanted in a way I wanted to colour but in a way I was just like I just felt like the work was distracting me but then when Rita made available her freebie so thank you so much for this freebie um to the colouring community it was it really got me back into colouring and um I sort of felt like I got my mojo back I guess so I was really really pleased um, and I think I'm back to my usual self now and looking forward to my October colouring. But yeah, um, this definitely helped me get back into my colouring. So thank you. And um, it's just such a lovely page and I love the little mini images. And there's such gorgeous images um, on Instagram. Um, be be beautiful images. And I did my mine with mainly Holbeins, but I did use some Lightfast. Um, but mainly Holbeins this is um, and the light fast and a bit of polychromos maybe in places but I've got lots of metallic gel pens and glitter gel pens and paints and things like that glossy not glossy accent sorry um, glaze Sakura gel pens and then at the border we've got my gel crayons I think they were the King Art ones but then I did this little sunrise thing here well it was meant to be a sunrise so that's the sea and that's the sun and like a sunset which I quite like and I then I went over the lettering with my black glaze pen and um, so when I keep mentioning this black glaze pen it's this one here you see that this one's pretty much empty nearly but yeah it's just stunning um, probably one of my most essential tools and I, I am hoping to do my my 10 or 
I might not put a number on it because you know what I'm like, but my essential colouring tools. Um, yeah, that's it, basically. I, I really, really like it. I will show you this properly because honestly, I spent so long on this. I spent absolutely ages on it. And I'm fairly pleased with it. I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, I give myself eight and a half out of ten. So I'm quite fussy. But, yeah, things could be improved. But I think it's still good enough. That's why I put it on Instagram. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that one. Um, and, yeah, that's it. That's all my completed pages for September. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you reached the end. And until next time, guys, take care. Happy colouring. Bye.